But how has it been going for you? Do you feel like uh, you're right there with Drew and, and ready to compete against him in training camp? You know, honestly, man, it's been fun. Um, you know, I walked into the situation and, you know, I told Drew and Brett that, listen, you know, you guys are going to play this game for a long time. You know, I'm going to keep playing. At the end of the day, we all can learn from each other. And I told those guys, hey, just take advantage of me. You know, I've had the opportunity to play for different teams. I've been with different quarterbacks, been in different systems. Um, and I played with a great quarterback in Drew Brees. So it's like, you know, I feel like I'm one of those guys now. I'm that sponge that's ready to just pour out the information that I have. And, um, you know, of course, you compete. It's going to make the team better. It's going to make you better as a team and as a person. But at the same time, you know, this is a situation that, you know, we all – We've all formed a bond, you know, and it's only been about three and a half, four weeks. And usually when you walk into situations like that, some guys are uptight. You know, our quarterback room here right now, man, is, it's a friendly environment. You know, I, I look forward to, you know, giving Drew and Brett as much information as I can. And I look forward to learning from those guys as much as I can. Um, and in the end, it's going to help the Broncos win football games. What do you tell people about arm strength and how important it is to a quarterback? How much it matters to, to the overall picture of playing quarterback? You know, for me, my game is totally different from Drew's game. And, you know, Drew, Drew arm is off the charts. Uh, some of the throws he's able to make, you know, you sit back and you just you know, admire it. You know, for me, my game is more so just trying to anticipate, trying to play fast, you know, uh, playing in rhythm because I know that, you know, I'm not the guy that's going to throw the ball 80 yards down the field. So if I can be, you know, on time with my feet, you know, um, and anticipate the throws, then I'm playing at my best. You know, when I'm late and trying to muscle everything, then, you know, I'm not really playing good football. So, you know, one of my strengths is just being able to anticipate throws uh, and, and just, you know, lay it out there with the touch early. The Broncos seem to be involved with two of the biggest quarterbacks that supposedly are on the trading block. Aaron Rodgers, every time somebody says something there, are, are the Broncos going to get them? Is that difficult to tune out? Uh, not for me. <laughs> um, I understand the nature of the business. Um, I've been traded. Uh, I've had a team, you know, move on from me um, in free agency. You know, so I understand the nature of this business. So, you know, I can't get caught up in that. All I know is that I have an opportunity every day right now to walk into this facility, be a Denver Bronco, be the best version of Tay that I can be, impact the guys that are here, and, you know, do my best on the football field. You know, I talked to, you know, a couple of my mentors this offseason, uh, Sean Payton, Bill Parcells, um, and those guys just broke things down to me and it made complete sense. So, you know, I'm 28 years old and I'm feeling good and I'm ready to play my best football.